Welcome to Game Bird Classic. What is up guys? Welcome back to Game Bird Classic. The first round of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC Fighters has come to a close. And while not every reveal is maybe something I wanted or something you wanted, it's hard to complain when you have such a massive roster of fantastic characters, a real celebration of the game industry, from retro characters to modern characters, and just last year Nintendo announced they have plans to release even more fighters in the near future. I'm sure that next announcement is just on the horizon. So today I want to go over my top 10 characters that I'd love to see in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And hey guys, if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell so you can see when I upload next, and hit that like button, it really helps my channel out. And I just want to say one last thing, this list is in no particular order, and if I leave out a character that you really want in Smash, be sure to sound off on the comment section below and let me know who you'd like to see in Smash Ultimate. But without further ado, let's dig right in. Alright, so the first character I'd love to see in Smash Ultimate is Travis Touchdown from the series No More Heroes. Now, Travis is a character I've wanted to see in Smash for a long, long time now. He's dripping with personality and style and has enough cool moves to make for a really interesting fighter. And Suda51 has even said in the past that he'd love to see Travis in Smash Brothers. So I guess I'm crossing my fingers on this one. Next up we have Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Now, a Sora announcement would be absolutely huge. Kingdom Hearts fans would go nuts, Smash fans would go nuts, and to be honest, Kingdom Hearts 3 wasn't the most beloved entry in the series. I feel like throwing him into Smash would be kind of a redemption for the character, and probably one of the biggest announcements that Nintendo could do for Smash Brothers. Alright, so the third character is one that I've championed for on my channel time and time again. So why stop now? And that character is Solaire from Dark Souls. Now, I know it's a pipe dream, but he'd be such a perfect fit for Smash. We already have a Solaire amiibo, and just thinking about what they could do with the stage mechanics or assist trophies is so awesome. They could have a stage mechanic where your realm gets invaded by an invader or multiple invaders, or a mechanic where Solaire is able to summon, summon a friend to help out. He'd be such a perfect fit, the soundtrack is epic, they could do some awesome assist trophies. I'm crossing my fingers, I want Solaire in Smash so bad, I know I've said it a million times, but I'm not quitting. I want him in Smash, now! Next up we have a special Capcom character, no I'm not talking about Dante, I'm talking about Beautiful Joe baby. Beautiful Joe is one of the coolest, most fun and stylish action games on the GameCube, and a series that I'd really like to see make a return, but for now, I think Beautiful Joe would make a fantastic addition to the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate roster. Alright, so there have been tons of rumors and tons of hopes for Steve from Minecraft or Master Chief from Halo to make their way into Smash Bros., but the character I'd really like to see is actually Cuphead. Just imagining a beautifully hand-drawn and illustrated battle arena to fight in, the really cool music from Cuphead in that game, and Cuphead himself, he's such a fun and quirky character, I think he'd make a really solid fit for Smash and uh, would be a big people pleaser too. Alright, so next we have Gino from the Super Nintendo Classic Super Mario RPG. Now, Gino is a fan favorite. He's one of the most desired characters to get into Smash. We already got Banjo-Kazooie, we got King K. Rule, we even got Ridley. Gino would be the next biggest thing. It would be one of the biggest treats to Smash fans. I believe he was one of the top voted characters to make it into the game. So if Nintendo makes that happen, I think people across the board are going to be happy. So we've gotten a lot of great third-party characters across the board, but I really think we need a Sony announcement. And that character would be Crash Bandicoot. It would be an epic reveal. And with the smash success of the Crash Bandicoot remake that's now available on the Switch, it's perfect timing. Crash is making a comeback, Smash Ultimate is larger than life, put Crash in Smash, and it'll be a Crash and Smash in time. So this next character is without a doubt the least likely to appear in Smash Brothers, but that doesn't change the fact that he would make an absolutely fantastic addition to the game, and that's Kiryu from the Yakuza series. Now, I've recently become a massive fan of the Yakuza games. They are fun, they are stylish, they are completely over the top, they have incredible storytelling, and Kiryu is an absolute rock star. He'd make such a good addition to the game, his moveset would be really cool, it'd be really fun, and probably pretty hilarious too with some of the things you can do in those Yakuza games. The next character that I'd like to see in Smash Ultimate is from Ubisoft, and that's Rayman. Rayman Legends is one of my favorite 2D platformers of all time, and the character made a great comeback with Rayman Origins as well. 
Ubisoft and Nintendo, they have a fantastic relationship together. They've done some really cool cool partnerships, uh, both the Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle or the Starlink Battle for Atlas that had the Star Fox content in it. Really cool stuff, so it would be fantastic for Ubisoft to get one of their characters in Smash. I could see that working really well. And if I had to pick one, personally, I think Rayman's the best fit. Alright, so here we are. The tenth and final character that I want in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is Skull Kid from Majora's Mask. Now, Skull Kid is my dream character from when I first started thinking about what characters I want to see in Smash. This was this was my pipe dream character. It would blow my mind if they revealed Skull Kid for Smash Brothers. And I think this is a pick that would not only be popular for Zelda fans, but I think it would be popular for all Nintendo fans in general. It wouldn't disappoint. He's such a cool, unique character. I'd love to see him in Smash do a crazy Majora's Mask power up for his final smash. I don't know. I'm crossing my fingers. All right, so those are my top 10 characters that I want to see in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. What do you guys think? Did I miss anything? Do you hate my picks? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you guys on the next Game Bird Classic. Peace. What are you doing? I still have tons more videos that you need to check out right now. You can start with this one or this one. Oh, and uh, don't forget to subscribe.